the AX 1800 Deco X20 mesh Wi-Fi system. Not the fastest kit on the block, but it is the most reliable. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Buy My Bits, and in today's video, I wanna talk about a mesh Wi-Fi system from TP-Link. This is somewhat new, and it is less than $250. For those of you who do not know, mesh systems are built for reliability, being able to get signal everywhere you go within your house. It's using multiple devices in sequence to give you better coverage, not necessarily better speed, just kind of depending on the system, but better coverage. Now the Deco X20, just like all the other Deco systems, that TP-Link offers does have the ability to work and communicate with each other wirelessly, which means you only have to connect one Deco unit and it will connect to the other two and expand your range. However, there is a sacrifice for this convenience and that is normally speed. See, both of these units connect directly to the main unit, which means a lot of the speed is being used to communicate directly with these units rather than you know going directly to your devices. If you have the ability to, you do still have the option to wire each Deco unit with an Ethernet Ethernet cable, which would overall increase your speed. But that's not necessarily the selling point with this unit. I mean, if you can wire everything in your house and you can set up your own access points throughout the house, then, I mean, there's so many different ecosystems that you could dive into. With systems like these, it's really all about having the convenience of just setting one up with the wire right next to your cable modem and having all of them connect. So this is the TP-Link AX1800 Deco X20. This package comes with three units and can cover up to 5,800 square feet, handling up to 150 devices. As long as your client supports it, it offers seamless roaming and quality of service, meaning that you have the ability to prioritize certain devices on your network, just in case they are more critical than other ones. With each Deco X20 system, you get a lifetime subscription to the TP-Link Home Care, and the Wi-Fi uses WPA3, so it's more secure, and because it's a mesh system, it's going to cover more of your house. You also get great features like parental controls, time limits, a built-in antivirus. Now, the time limits is really kind of cool. Like it allows you to sort of micromanage your network from anywhere in the world, as long as you have an internet connection. You have the ability to create different groups, you know, family members. You can limit what those family members can see on the internet. You have the ability to set specific shutoff time limits for each individual group, which basically means if you got one of those kids that will just not do their homework. Instead, they want to play Call of Duty. You just click a button, boom, they are off the internet. Now, something that really kind of stood out, and it sounds a little weird, but this Deco system comes built in with a feature that allows you to optimize what wireless channel you're using. And it actually kind of does this in more ways than one. The first way it does it is that it combines your SSID or your wireless Wi-Fi network name. The 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz frequencies are the same thing. And the Deco system basically decides what frequency those devices should be on. So if you're connecting things like smart home devices, plugins, light bulbs, stuff like that, the Deco will automatically recognize them as smart devices and force them on the 2.4 gigahertz. It's just kind of normal for smart home devices. However, if you're connecting something that's more bandwidth intensive, like a personal laptop, then the Deco X20 system will automatically move it over to the five gigahertz band. Now that's actually not a new feature to this model. I mean, they've been doing that for a while, especially with the mesh systems. But what they have now is an optimizer for the actual channel that it runs on because Wi-Fi has channels and those channels can be a little let's say flooded. Now this is especially true if you live in a tight neighborhood, like let's say an apartment building and everyone around you has their own wireless router. There's only so many frequencies in the air before people kind of start colliding and it could affect your Wi-Fi service overall. In fact, I have a bunch of wireless networks going on in my house, multiple routers, including setting up the X20 system and I have neighbors and I was a little congested, honestly, for most of my wireless networks. But bring in the Deco system, which basically allows you to click optimize. It'll tell you your channel is congested. It will scan, it will find the optimal channel that the Deco should be running off of, and it will optimize it for you. After I optimized my network, I was able to get up to kinda sort of 500 megabits per second, which kinda brings me to my next topic. Not the fastest kid on the block. Yes, with this mesh system, I was able to get reliable, strong coverage in every corner of my house. 
no questions asked. And on that topic, I was able to reliably get 150 megabit down. The upload speed on the other hand, yeah, it's like 20 to 40. It was definitely not as fast up, but I definitely got some good download speeds. However, good is relative here. I do have gigabit connection at home. It's a one gig down, but only 35 up. So because of this, I wanted to test something that's locally hosted. So I used my Unraid server on my main Plex Media server, and I hosted a speed test app. Now, when I use my other TP-Link router, the AX6000, which is a single point Wi-Fi access point currently on my network, that thing can give me pretty much gigabit speeds. But when I connect to the Deco system, unfortunately, I really can't break about 150 megabits per second if I'm bouncing through one of the other units. However, if I am connected to the main unit and these speeds do not vary whether the other ones are plugged in or not, if I'm connected to the other, other unit, the maximum speed I could really get is around 450 to 500 megabits per second down. But 150 megabits per second. That kind of tells me that yes, that's fast connection. And a lot of people out there don't even have 150 megabit connection with their ISP. But you also have to remember that multiple devices are connected on your network and you might be transferring files from one device to the other. And that's kind of sort of where the Deco X20 system, for me at least, would fall off. See, if I have a laptop upstairs and I got my server downstairs or my NAS downstairs, and I want to be able to transfer large files and the upload speed on the Deco just cannot hang very well, well, I might kind of get a little irritated. However, if I'm on a tablet and I'm just streaming Netflix movies, then it's going to work perfectly and it's going to be reliable at every corner in my house. But that hard speed limit that I've been reaching when I'm going through more than one unit is just, you know, a little bit of a letdown. Yes, if I wanted to, I could have plugged all of these units into their own separate ethernet port, which would mean that throughout my house with the entire system, I could effectively get 500 megabits all around my house. But with the TP-Link AX6000 that I use right now, which is in the middle of the house, it has its own ethernet wire, and I can get down here, usually all over the basement, five to 600 megabits per second. When I'm upstairs, it's usually seven to 900 or a gigabit per second. So it's significantly faster and it's only one single point. Where's the trade-off here? The trade-off really is going outside which sounds funny, but if you mow your lawn or if you're just outside, you want the Wi-Fi signal, you wanna to listen to radio, you wanna maybe stream some video or YouTube video, you're in the garage, I mean, these are the, the outliner things that people do that they don't really think about until you get out there and you realize your YouTube video is not loading or your music is buffering. And that's where the Deco X20 system shined because I was able to go all the way to the back of my yard and still get 150 megabits per second. I was able to actually put one of these in my garage. So of course I had great service, but I was able to go all the way out to the front of my driveway and still get 70 to 80 megabits per second. Now for most of my yard, I still get service with my AX6000, but that system is in the center of my house, which means it has to pass through more walls to give me service in my yard. So sometimes when I'm mowing, I just kind of turn off Wi-Fi because depending on where I am, depends on whether or not my music will start buffering. So a reliable 150 megabit connection down everywhere in your house and most of your yard is actually not that bad of a thing. And the last thing I wanna talk about, and I originally tested out like one of the first TP-Link Deco systems, they did not have a web interface, which means you literally could not use your computer to access the Deco management software. Like there was no option. It would refuse your connection. That was kind of one of the biggest things for me. It's like, okay, you can use the app, you can connect it, you can configure it with your phone or your tablet or whatever, but you can't use your computer? That's a little weird. I mentioned that in my earliest reviews of the Deco system. And since then they have made updates to not only that system, but also with this system, they do technically have a web interface option. Now I say technically because yeah, you do see, you know, a lot of stuff. You can access logs, you can change a few things, you can, you know, do a little bit, but realistically this in comparison to what the app can offer you, is just night and day. So yes, TP-Link does now give you the option to manage this with a PC through your web browser, access it, make a few very basic changes with the system. However, if you really want to dive in, you really want to, you know, customize your Deco X20 system, you will need to download the app. Now, the consumer side of me says, Jason, that's not that bad. I mean, the app is very powerful. You can use it from anywhere, it connects to your Deco system. 
I mean, why is that a negative? But the nerd in me thinks, do I really need my phone just to manage my wireless network? Being the techie that I am, I really feel like most of the power should be in the hands of your computer. You should be able to access the web interface and change things and not have to rely on a tablet or a phone in order to make you know, really deep, important changes to your Wi-Fi system. But that's just me. When it comes to the average consumer, having the ability to control everything from your phone, change everything, set up your antivirus, parental controls, time limits, optimize your Wi-Fi network, everything from the palm of your hands is convenient. And it's really hard to argue with convenience, especially with a system like this that is literally built just for convenience. So the TP-Link Deco X20 system, again, maybe not the fastest kit on the block, but it is one of the most reliable signals that you can get, especially in a larger home. I did a weird test where I try to go as far as I possibly could. I mean, I made it a little bit over a block across the pond just to see how far I could stretch it. And my speeds drastically changed when I was making multiple hops from one Deco to another. In fact, by the end of it, I was basically 20 megabits per second down, and then a couple feet over, it was just gone. So 20 megabits was about the minimum that it would give me. So if you have a larger home, or maybe a longer home, something where you can't put a wireless router in one end of your house and get signal in the opposite end of your house, that's where a mesh system comes into play, especially a convenience mesh system that allows you to connect wirelessly without needing to run ethernet cables. If you guys would like to check out more about the Deco X20 system, check out the links in the description down below. These are Amazon affiliate links. And at the time of making this video, the price was under $250. So let me know what you think about the TP-Link Deco X20 system in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a great day.